everyone, it's Ivan with Kipadger.com here today, continuing our journey on firearms ownership. And today, we're going to talk about how to grip your pistol. When it comes to a grip, there are numerous schools of thoughts. I will show you a way, not the way, but big picture kind of concepts and principles. What are we looking to accomplish? We want to hold our pistol in a way that gives us positive control. We don't want to drop this. We also want to hold it in a way that gives us access to the different controls on our pistol. We also ideally want to hold it in such a fashion where it allows us and enables us to make a really smooth trigger press. And then lastly, we ideally want to hold this in such a way that it helps us mitigate recoil when we fire the pistol. Jumping right into it, when it comes to establishing that grip on our pistol, we want to take it with our firing hand, finger straight and off the trigger. And while it seems pretty simple, we are trying to accomplish something right here. And that is when we establish that grip, whether it is with our right or left hand, depending on which hand we are shooting with, we want to think about squeezing like this. What that's gonna do for us is it is going to force the web of our hand high up into this portion of the pistol. Why do we want to do that? Well, if we could, through magic, fire our pistol holding it right here, we would because this part is where the recoil is going to be directed back. So if we could have it come straight back into our hand, that would be ideal. Physics says we can't do that because this slide is going to reciprocate. So we want to be as high up towards that reciprocating mass as possible. Conversely, if we're down here, and we can see space, or worse yet, you would never do this, but if you were to fire the pistol trying to hold it like this, now you have all of this mass reciprocating up here, in which case, under recoil, it's gonna to wanna to do that. So to help mitigate recoil, we want to go ahead and create this motion with our firing hand, driving the web of our hand high up into this back strap. At that point, we need to figure out what we're going to do with our support hand. Now that we've established our grip with our firing hand, our support hand is going to come in support of that. This section here of our grip, we are going to fill with the meaty portion of our palm here. And then we are going to thumbs forward and we are going to pinch either against the frame or against our hand here. And what that will do for us is it will take the majority of the responsibility of holding this pistol from our shooting hand. So we'll end up holding it here, freeing up our shooting hand somewhat with respect to being able to then pull the trigger, ideally without very much input from these fingers. Reason being, if you clench your fist and then try and do something very delicate, it is difficult. So if you think about it percentage-wise, maybe 70-30 or 60-40, the lion's share of our grip is going to be established with our support hand, and that will free up our trigger finger to depress the trigger. So far with this grip right here that we've established, we have one, got a grip that allows us to maintain positive control of this pistol. It also gives us access to our controls i.e. if we need to manipulate anything, we can still reach the slide stop slide release, or if we need to reach the magazine, we can reach that there. And the other thing it does is it frees up that trigger finger to press the trigger to the rear, hopefully without very much input from the rest of our firing hand. And lastly, mitigating recoil, because as we start to shoot fast, maybe rapid succession of shots. This will have the tendency, if we don't have that firm grip with our support hand, clamping down on the pistol and or our other hand, you will have this basically break free of your grip and it will rise up. So we can mitigate that by having that good firm grip right there. Which brings us to what are we doing with our arms? A couple of things. One, we want to additionally grip our pistol beyond just our hands with actually the palms of our hands. So how do we accomplish that? If you put your arms straight in front of you and try and press your palms together, we're not very strong with our arms extended, but as we come back, we get more and more strength. So we want to kind of find that sweet spot. 
and this additionally will help us absorb that recoil when we fire the pistol. So we establish that good grip with our firing hand and with our support hand. Then we bring it back and press those palms in, clamping the frame of the pistol, giving us a really solid grip. Now, where is this pistol out here in space? Well, what we don't want to do is that. There's no reason to bring your eye down to the sights of the pistol. We want to bring the pistol up to our eye. So we will take our pistol, have it here, and I'm gonna bring it up until it is lined up with my dominant eye. For me personally, it is right eye. And we'll bring our pistol up there, at which point we don't have to bring our neck down or do anything like that, which will ultimately end up fatiguing us. But what if you were left-handed? Well, then you do the exact same thing, except with opposite hands. Honestly, grip, while seemingly pretty simple, those little nuanced things will really help you and pay dividends when you actually get out to the range and start shooting. Be sure to join us as we continue the journey of firearms ownership. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.